Nine million dollars worth of coronavirus tests from South Korea. A huge... He and First Lady Yumi Hogan greeted the Korean air jet that landed at BWI Marshall Airport. The incredible success of Operation Enduring Friendship. Right there, so could have saved a lot of money, but that's okay. Go to South Korea for No, I don't think he testing. needed to. Why didn't you think of that, Dad? Why didn't you think of buying test kits from South Korea? Inside, 150,000 COVID-19 tests from South Korea. In South Korea, which has been lauded as a leader worldwide in its testing operation. My approach has been all hands on deck. And when the governor of Colorado says he needs something, we go to bat. Everybody across the world is trying to buy these things at the same time we are. A big shipment of COVID-19 tests arrived today in Colorado, and at one point, Governor Polis said he was considering sending a jet overseas for tests and other supplies as the tests are in high demand. As we look to stay healthy, CBS 4's Sean Boyd explains why South Korea decided to help Colorado. At 9.08 Thursday morning, 10 boxes arrived at Colorado State Public Health Lab. Inside, 150,000 COVID-19 tests from South Korea. Tests that every state in the country is trying to get its hands on. But it is a global free-for-all. In an interview with Governor Polis earlier this month, he talked about how, unlike other crises where states come to each other's aid in a pandemic, it's every state for itself. Everybody across the world is trying to buy these things at the same time we are. So how did we hit the jackpot? I reached Ambassador Moon from South Korea by phone to find out. We received so many requests from all around the world. That is why, I mean, that uh, we just particularly focused on the state of Colorado because of that uh, cross relationship with Senator uh, Gardner. Senator Cory Gardner is chair of the Foreign Relations Subcommittee on East Asia. What first started out as my effort to build economic and security relationships with Asia has now turned into an incredible uh, relationship uh, to address our COVID-19 health emergency. The Republican because senator the reached out to the Democratic governor. My approach has been all hands on deck. And when the governor of Colorado says he needs something, we go to bat and we go find it. Even if it means going halfway around the world after many late night calls. Well, I have to check my phone several times during the night. South Korea directed two of its suppliers to help Colorado out. It's incredible. And I give so much thanks. South Korea. I think he needed to get a little knowledge would have been helpful. This is new today. More than 100,000 coronavirus tests are coming to Colorado from South Korea because of Co Senator Cory Gardner. In a press release, Senator Gardner said this alliance, quote, is ironclad and proven to not only be crucial for U.S. economic and national security interests, but for our health as well. The senator then goes on to say, quote, I know our entire state joins me in thanking Ambassador Lee and all our friends in South Korea as we work together to beat this pandemic. And tonight, Ryan Hare looks at the lack of adequate testing and how the 150,000 tests from South Korea may help. It's not a panacea. It doesn't solve this. We can't just test and trace our way out of this in any model. True, testing is not a panacea. Modeling and health experts aren't saying so. Social distancing and masks, among other measures, are crucial too. But we do know that widespread testing vastly improves our chances of preventing an outbreak. Like just about every other state, Colorado has not had the supplies to get it done. I wish we had a thousand epidemiologists working for the state of Colorado today, that we had 50,000 tests 
being done each day in Colorado. That's not the reality anywhere in the country. A Harvard study suggests 152 tests per 100,000 residents is the level needed to safely lift stay home orders. That's three to four times more than what Colorado has managed in recent days with the end of our stay home order around the corner. Nearly 20% of tests given have come back positive. That positivity rate would be much lower with widespread testing. Here's Nine Health expert Dr. Pyle Coley. Germany had a 7% positivity rate when they decided to relax their social distancing, and South Korea had a 3%. Um, positive rate when they relax their social distancing. So what that told us was that we can safely relax our social distancing. Those countries can see spikes in cases fast. They can tamp down outbreaks before they worsen. The 150,000 tests on the way should help Colorado, but hundreds of thousands more will be needed. Governor Polis says the state hopes to increase testing by 5% a week after our stay home order is lifted, despite the lack of testing. In Denver, Ryan Herrer, Nine News. And those tests the governor told us about yesterday have arrived. Take a look at this. Ten boxes containing 150,000 tests were shipped from South Korea. This morning, the state sent us this FedEx arrival label when they arrived just after 9.